What's going on, YouTube? Got another update here for the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. Got a little planning going on over there. And don't forget to stay tuned till the end. We're going in there. And we're going to find out if this camera's really waterproof, like they say, up to, what, 33 feet, 10 meters. So we'll go ahead and do that at the very end. But for right now, i got a little experiment going right here. This is a piece of my apple tree from out front. So I'm going to attempt, yet again, to clone an apple tree. Um, I've got two in this garden. I've got one right here and one on the other side. Um, my jalapenos, not looking so hurty. Eh, whatever. They're, uh, they're still having some growth, so as long as they're doing something, we're good to go. Uh, green bell peppers here, we got one pepping. And if you look right down in there, I don't know if that actually, it's not really showing up, but right in there, come on, man, focus. But anyway, those little brown things, those are uh, little pepper nodes, and I just thought they were really weird because they're really, really tiny, and they don't look like they're going to make it. Uh, another green bell right behind it. It had a nice uh, pepper node on it that was actually starting to produce pepper, and I knocked it off. Yay me. Um, what else we got here? Some big gigantic carrot uh, leaves here and everything, and let's check out one of them. Look at that. All right. Not looking so bad. Looking like a carrot, so that's good. A uh, little tiny guy here, starting to come back. That was the one I thought was dead and not going to do anything, but it's doing something. Uh, another carrot. This mystery thing, I don't know what the heck this is. This has got to be a weed, because I do not remember planting anything oh. like it. And, as a matter of fact, it's gone. Nice roots. Um, lettuce back there, looking nice. Oh, and i got to show off. My Santa Fe Grand uh, Pepper, right there. Got a little ladybug right there hanging out. And a bunch of flowers, some nodes, a nice serrano. And a couple more flowers here up on top. You can see serrano. And there's my lettuce again. My nice, gigantic volunteer uh, tomato. Looking good. Got a sucker right there. We'll have to take care of that thing. And make me another plant. Um, another one right here is the other volunteer. It's just a little bit smaller. Uh, Pak Choi. Looking beautiful. Look at all these little guys, man. Looking great. These ones, not so much. Uh, right over here, just a bunch of strawberries. Not really doing anything, as you can see. Ha ha. Look at my failure. Um, that hunter did not actually take root. I cut it too soon, and now it's dead. But we got another one right there coming up. And, whoops. That one right there took root. That's awesome. And the one right behind it there took root as well. So I'm ahead of the game a little bit here, getting free plants. Really should be cutting these runners here. And I've got that other one that's going way over there. And it's actually got some roots on it. And it's still running. But uh, that I'm going to put into the deep water culture bed over there. This is another pak choy and as you can see it was trying to get a seed so i just cut the uh, top right off well pinched it off another little nice little pak choy a whole herd of them over here look at all that look there's some of the seed that's trying to go to um uh more fun stuff in here more carrots over there actually you can see the tops here yeah eh, eh, whatever not looking so bad. We'll figure it out once uh, it's time to pull them out. There we go. Look, not so bad. Ha <laughs> ha. Beef steak. It's kind of droopy right now. I don't know why it's all droopy like that, but maybe it was because it was a nice hot day. And that's a uh, red beef steak, which is another heirloom and an indeterminate. So it'll just go crazy, just like this guy right here, which would be my San Marzano, which is another heirloom. And uh, that one, as you can see the suckers right there, I've been waiting for them to get a little bit bigger, and I'm going to go ahead and transplant. Got uh, more kale. Um, with the other garden, it's pretty easy to tell which one's the red and the blue kale, because one is kind of purplish like this, and that would be the blue kale, and the other one is just kind of green. Um, over here, these are red and blue. I believe it's uh, red and blue. And they look exactly the same. So I don't know. But they're looking nice. Very nice. Look at this. All lush and stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. 
this is my other apple tree right here. So this is uh, part two of my experiment, and I probably am going to go ahead and do one in the hot tub aquaponics and see, you know, use it as a control or whatever uh, smart scientific people say. Come on, man. Let's see here. Probably got a nice decent carrot here. Yeah, not so bad. Looking neat. So, I didn't even think carrots would grow in here, even though I'm pretty sure uh, it was pointed out that Rob Bob has done this many times. But some more pak choy. Some uh, lettuce right here. It's not so bad. Like, we're about to hit this uh, uh, growth point over here in this garden, uh, which I hit in the other garden a couple times now already. But this one is going to start booming soon. Broccoli. Um, I did not know that these little pods form on broccoli and I'm guessing that's where my seed comes from so this whole time I thought those flowers were gonna put off seed and throw them back into my garden and make me some more broccoli and here I guess we need to wait for the pods okay I learned something new all the time here we go right here look how green these guys are beautiful I know how to grow them now these came from a dirt garden outside these are uh, the cherry 100s and they were suckers so I pulled them and literally literally um, I don't know maybe 30 minutes before I made this video I put them in here that's why they're looking beautiful tomorrow they're gonna be all droopy and looking like they want to die and all that stuff but for right now they look great for the video I believe these are a couple volunteers right here, so, which I believe all the volunteers are Marglobe? I don't know. Don't ask me what the heck I'm growing, I'm just doing it. Uh, Indigo Rose right here, looking nice. Um, taking a sweet time, but anyway, behind these guys there's my dualies. Don't even remember where the heck they came from, and that right over there is my, um, well it's a sucker that came from this uh, volunteer over here. So, that'll take care of this bed here. And we've got Radicchio. They seem to have just stopped doing anything. Like, I haven't trimmed them, I haven't done anything. Actually, whoa, I didn't even notice. This guy's looking horrible. Jeez, oh man. Get something done there, ladybug. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Well, I didn't even notice. This one looks horrible, man. And it's all mushy inside. So, it's probably dying. And I've had them for... Holy crap, I don't even know how long. They were planted sometime last summer. So, it's only kind of natural that they would die at some point. Uh, a couple more volunteers here. These were the ones from the floor of the greenhouse. Another one right there. I believe this guy is an indigo rose. Eh, not looking so bad. Another uh, blue and red kale right here. Can't tell them apart, so I don't know which one's which, but whatever. More, uh, these are the sweet, or the uh, hot freak peppers. And it's little buddy right there. They are just trying to flaunt my failure right in my face. Uh, I believe this is a homestead heirloom uh, determinant uh, tomato. Can't remember. Uh, Dragon Cayenne, got some flowers going on on there, looking pretty. Uh, my Garden Salsa, look at that, got a nice little pepper going already. This is a hot pepper, another uh, node right there, or whatever they call it, nice flower. And my Watermelon, I uh, can't wait to get them over here into this deep water and see what they do. That ought to be pretty interesting. Horrible excuse for a jalapeno. Looking really crappy. This uh, green bell, not so bad. Uh, it's starting to come back a little bit. And I believe this is another green bell that I topped. And it's actually starting to put off some pretty looking flowers here. As opposed to these garbage looking flowers. So, and again, I added some iron. Uh, what was it? Last week, I think right after I made the last video. Right over here. Um... As you can see, my water level's down a little bit right there. Um, that wasn't from leaking, because it stopped leaking the day after I made the last video. But, it, um, um, the evaporation from in here, because it's been so hot, it's lost that amount of water right there. But, <laughs> that's funny, and you can take my word for that, or not. 
but then <laughs> it was not leaking and of course check it out now the dang on thing is leaking again why because i hooked up this drain pipe should have done that right at first and then you know letting it sit would have went ahead and sealed itself and i'd be a-okay but now you can see it's an active leak so what am i gonna do to fix that uh well some of this sawdust that you can see here i threw some of that right in here why because that will uh get over saturated you can see some of it right there it'll get saturated with water it'll sink it'll go to the lowest point which will be right down there and then it uh will get sucked into the leak and should in theory clog my hole and that way it uh stops leaking this is uh i love goofy little secrets like this because uh, that's something you can do you can use sand you can use uh sawdust pretty much you're uh limitless as long as you know you know this stuff will get sucked into the leak so just figure out something to put in there i love all kind of goofy handyman tricks like that like uh when, uh, when you got a stripped out screw, just remove the screw and shove some wood into there. I like to shave a um, like a two by four with a razor knife and get little like slivers of wood and then just shove that into the hole and keep shoving them in and shoving them in and shoving them in. And once the hole's full, throw your screw back in there and bam, it's like a brand new uh, screw hole. Haha, <laughs> that one's on me. If you got any awesome tips, go ahead and uh, throw a comment in there. And while you're at it take your bets on whether this camera is going to actually be waterproof <laughs> all right anyway uh, i've got this and you can see there's pencil marks and it looks all laid out like professional and stuff no it's not i literally <laughs> put all these things out and i was just like oh that'll be about good that'll be about good yeah that's spacing and as you can see like each spacing is completely different and then i just put a mark over here i put a mark over here use my level here and just put a line and when i'm all over and done with when you remove them it looks really hilarious because it looks like a two-year-old did it but uh so i'm thinking that i'm gonna go ahead and after i kill this mosquito i'm gonna have to go to, uh, ahead and flip this board over start all over again and um <clears throat> one thing i didn't even think of um, I've been using these two inch net cups. Obviously, these are bigger, they're three inch net cups. Um, one thing I like a lot about these new ones, uh, as you can see, there's really no lip to the very top of it. And these guys really have a nice lip on there. So, that, um, these are three inch cups. So, I was checking it out, uh, measuring, and pretty much like a three and an eight. Uh, three and a quarter even is a decent sized hole where this thing will be able to sit in there so I went I got a three and an eighth inch drill bit holy crap is this thing expensive and it's 15 bucks just for the white piece that you're seeing there this uh, drill bit holder type dealy I had this and that's another 15 bucks so just in case uh, someone's getting into some aquaponics and or hydroponics and you don't know whether you should go with the two inch cups or the three inch cups i'd start off with the two inch cups because every hole saw uh kit that i saw that are like 15 bucks comes with a two inch but like i said just this piece was 15 and the drill holder piece with the drill bit here this little drill bit um that was 15 bucks as well so just a thought in case you're getting into uh some aquaponics or some hydroponics and i got one extra cup left over after all that stuff and so we're down to the fish and the fish tank and the waterproof camera and so um <clears throat> so far i had five fish in here and two died so i was down to three and i came out today and two were dead yay me i'm a great fish owner um, so pretty much, I guess the mission today, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside of the fish, inside of the fish tank, inside the fish tank, something like that. And we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Uh, I love the aeration and it's gigantic. So I would definitely want to see that underwater. And I guess I'll look into these, uh, the PVC pipes and the PVC fittings there and see if I can locate the other fish. Or I guess I'll just do a little scan around. So here it goes. Place your money. <laughs> See if this sucker actually works. <laughs> Thank you.
Alrighty, well, pulling it out, and it's telling me it's still recording. So, yay Fujifilm XP70. Very nice work. Alright, well there it goes. I guess that uh, says it all. I guess I uh, cleaned out that battery door nice and good. And there was a little bit of dog hair in there. I wasn't sure if it was going to seal or not. But it worked. So, looks like we've got a little spot on the camera there. A uh, little water drop. So I'm going to have to go and go clean this camera off and rinse it all out with some fresh water. Get all this aquaponic water off of it. But you saw it first here. My refurbished uh, Fujifilm XP70 actually made it in the drink and made it back out working. I am impressed. Good work, Fujifilm. Um, if you want that camera, if you want to take a look at this camera, I put an Amazon link on the Fujifilm when I first got the camera a couple videos ago, and I uh, put a link to uh, pretty much a search for Fujifilm XP70 refurbished. So, in case you're one, uh, interested and you would like to go get one for yourself, not bad at all. I like this camera. I really like it. It's really nice. Very bright. Uh, the other camera was kind of dark. Right now, everything would uh, seem like it would be like an hour later. But this camera's kicking rear end. All right, that's enough rambling from me. I'm getting out of here because, as you can see, I've got lots of work to do. I need to start, uh, well, just start all over with that thing. And then I need to go ahead and start drilling some holes, replowing, and all kind of fun stuff. So i got to get on all that stuff. So until next time, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite, tell your friends, even tell your mom. I tried not to swear a lot, so might not be a bad idea. And maybe you shouldn't do that. But anyway, just tell someone. <laughs> Until next time. Later.